A number of our Peabody Award winners shared with us more of the amazing and awesome stories about the March for Civil Rights. Detroit is a city filled with larger-than-life characters, and Grace Lee Boggs is one of the Motor City's most fascinating. She joined the Civil Rights Movement, fought for the rights of the American worker, and was determined to build a city that worked for everyone. This documentary shows her journey and how even in her 90s, she's still doing what she does best, pushing and challenging us to make things better. I've always thought of the negative as an opportunity to create a positive. When Grace was 85, we could barely keep up with her. She attended several meetings a day, taught a class, collected petitions, and constantly challenged everyone in her path. She's been a Marxist theoretician, a black power activist, and has a thick FBI file. Grace has made more contributions to the black struggle than most black people have. It turns out that Grace has been trying to wage a revolution in the United States for the past 70 years. I found out that if you mobilize a mass action, you can change the world. We in Detroit called it the rebellion. The rebellion. It was a rising up, it was a standing up. It was the protest by a people against injustice. So now we're taking no more from nobody. We had to change ourselves in order to change the world. Accepting the Peabody is Grace Lee. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, thank you to the Peabody Awards Committee for this great honor. I want to first thank my fellow producers, Caroline Labresco and Austin Wilkin, Joan Huang, for all of our dedicated, to all of our dedicated crew and families for their constant support. We're also indebted to POV, executive producer Chris White, Simon Kilmurray, Cynthia Lopez, and Eliza Licht, to the Center for Asian American Media, the Ford Foundation Just Films, and to PBS for funding and airing stories that reflect the truly diverse society we live in. Finally, we'd like to dedicate this award to Grace Lee Boggs, who turns 100 years old next month, for reminding us that our actions will, will get stuck